Hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech and welcome to another episode of C4E Apps. Today, let's take a look at 5 apps that, well, you guys recommended. Zooper is a highly customizable widget app. It lets you directly add widgets from the home screen. Adding widgets is easy. Tap and hold on one of these and then add it to your home screen. You can choose a style from a list of skins available. And once the skin is added, you can edit the layout, widget background, size of the widget and so on. The best thing about Zooper is that it lets you fully customize the skin to your liking. There are a few skins available in the free version. If you like this app and want more, you can always buy the pro version to unlock more. Next up, if you're looking for an app to give a new look to your screenshots, this one's for you. Screener lets you add device frames, wallpapers and effects to your screenshots. First select the effect you want and then scroll through the different frames to select your device. If you can't find your device in the list, then select no device and download the frame. Once the frame is downloaded, you can add the screenshot, toggle reflections and shadows. The next page lets you add or blur a background or simply add a solid color. You can then save the picture to the gallery or share it on your social media. With that, we get to Toucher Pro. The Toucher Pro app lets you add a floating point which opens up a panel with quick toggles and shortcuts when tap. In the panel, there are four different tabs available. The Home tab, Favorite tabs, Quick Toggles and Location. However, this varies with the themes. On that note, there are a ton of Toucher Pro themes available. Additionally, you can create your own point like the C4E Tech point here using the pictures in the gallery. There are also other customization options available like the pointer size, transparency, panel tabs and so on. Simple gesture commands like double tap for the recent apps are also available. If you have root access, you can add screenshot, back and menu buttons to this. Like Zooper, you also get an option to unlock more features like sidebar, folders, etc. at a cost. The next app on today's list is Mechanical Keyboard. This keyboard is made to look like the Model M keyboard from IBM. To bring back the old mechanical feel to the touchscreen, they added this. The keyboard also has three indicator lights for number lock, caps lock and power. You can also add a backlight to the keyboard. More features like RGB FX are said to be coming soon. So if you want a throwback keyboard with a click lack sound, this one's for you. Moving on, have you ever accidentally cleared a notification? If that's something you tend to do often, well this app might help. Notibox is basically an inbox for your notifications. All your incoming notifications are saved, even those that you cleared. They can be viewed later in the app in a timeline view. You can set priority for a notification, share or reply directly from the app. There is also an option to set a reminder for a notification. Another great feature is the do not disturb mode. It moves all your notifications to the app without displaying them on the lock screen or the notification panel. So that's it, the top 5 among the apps that you guys suggested. As always, you can find the timestamps and direct links to download these apps from the Play Store in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you feel we've missed out on something, do let us know on Twitter at C4E Tech using the hashtag C4E Apps. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.